Welcome to 2 minutes microscopy. In this installment we'll talk about confocal microscopy which works on the principle of fluorescence. Here you can see the confocal image are more sharp, crisp, but why? In order to understand that we have to understand the heart of the confocal which is a pinhole which blocks all the out of focus lights. So pinhole aperture could be adjusted in the confocal and based on how we adjust the aperture the contrast and the signal would differ. So in confocal microscopy we use laser instead of normal light. So normal light cannot be focused into very narrow volume but laser being coherent it can be focused into a very small volume which reduce the chances of non specific illumination. Here is the light path of a confocal microscopy. So one thing is laser that goes through this filter cube, travels through the objective and illuminate the fluorescent specimen. The light from the fluorescent specimen get back past the dichroic mirror, past the emission filter and before it reaches the detector it hits the pinhole. All the out of focus lights are cancelled. Confocal use a raster scanning method that means confocal scans the entire image point by point and reconstruct it. And that is why it's also known as point scanning confocal microscopy. It has a capability of Z stacking. That means the objective and the motorized stage can move. That leads to literally sectioning the specimens into different optical plane. And eventually that is reconstructed into a 3D volume like this one. So you can get a live example of these Z stacking here. And the composite image looks somewhat like this. So it gives us a 3D view. In confocal, photomultiplier tubes are used as a detector where there is a photocathode where the photon from the specimen hits and lead to the emission of photoelectrons. These photoelectrons travel through an array of uh, electrodes known as dynodes. Each is more positive than the previous one leading to amplification of even faint signals. These days confocal detectors are getting better and better. Now instead of multi alkali gallium arsenide phosphide like phot photocathodes are used which are much more sensitive and latest generations are the silicon detectors. So if you want to learn more watch the full video.